Hallo Leute, ich baue heute von 0 zu einer weiteren Folge von Subwares. Ja, Leute, eine weitere Folge und ab hier starten wir komplett neu die Staffel 2. Also ab hier beginnt die Staffel 2. Und ich habe mich ähm, ja, ein bisschen schlau gemacht und da sind die äh, Zeichen, wo wir halt waren sind. Und das ist hier das Neue. Also die Grünen sind wohl ähm, die, die wir machen müssen oder gemacht ha, äh, machen müssen und die, die haben wir wohl gemacht. Oder beziehungsweise die sind äh, Zusatzquests wie ähm, ja, unseren ähm, ähm, anderen ähm, Helfer finden. Ähm, das hier Quest Tubes und äh, ja, Nebula. Ähm, das zum Beispiel, da muss ich mir jetzt ähm, hin. Moment. Auf jeden Fall, wir, wir werden das schon irgendwie packen. So. Wir sind jetzt in den neuen Abschnitt, wie gesagt, hier. Und zwar Kraken Nebula. Und müssen bei Mi anfangen also wir sind beim kraken nebula müssen jetzt bei mir anfangen wie gesagt leute es ist ein komplett neues tra ja also da war ich noch nie da werden wir da ist schon mal das hauptquest ähm, wir werden natürlich erstmal die machen äh, gruppenkombat los geht's Oh Mann, oh Mann. Es ist. Es ist ja was, ey. Ein komplett neuer Tra, ein komplett neues ähm, Gegner und so weiter. Also, Leute, ich freue mich. Da fangen wir wirklich unsere Staffel 2 an. Also. I'm here. You here. Du kannst niemanden treffen. Es ist ja eine Katastrophe. Du bist unser Nacken. Okay. Magda. Backpack. Komm schon, nein. Naja. Okay. Heilen. Ready. Sehr gut. Ähm. Frage über Fragen. Fire away. So. Jetzt machen wir einen Nampf. Mama, Dampf. Yeah. Soll ich den killen oder den anderen? Ich kill den mal. Sehr gut, letzte Welle. Au, das tut doch weh, du Sau. Krieg voll eine ab. Taking the shot. Das war so ein Nampf. Oh, Moment. Mist. Wie krieg ich dich? Wie krieg ich? Dich zu fassen. Irgendwie, ne? Nein. Also ich kriege ihn überhaupt nicht zum Fassen. Okay. Es ist nicht. Es ist nicht gut. So. Du weißt, dass du jetzt tot bist, ne? Sowas von tot. Kriegst noch, guck mal, 
kriegst du noch Spezialschlag von ihr. <lacht> Double Dive. Bum, bum. Weg ist. Jolly good job. Hier muss er auf 20 kommen. Dann bekommen wir neu. Und die Gegend ist cool. <lacht> Irgendwie schön gemacht, so blau. Und so. Kennen die neuen. Space Combat. Oh, da bin ich mir nicht sicher, wen wir nehmen sollen. Schließlich geht es um die neuen Gegner. Du bist jetzt 14, du bist 12. Wir versuchen mal mit der. Boah, ist das geil. Voll geiles neues Gebiet, Mann. Okay, das. Die können wir noch auf. Oh. Das ist mein Blei. Ich bin gespannt, Leute, auf äh, ich bin gespannt auf Titan und die neuen Gegner. Hm. Wegtreten. Boah, das Gebiet ist schön. Wirklich so hintergrundmäßig. Ziemlich geil gemacht. Hat was, ne? So. Rein optisch. Weil die ist auch jetzt nicht schlecht geworden im äh, Kampf. Die sind ja nicht ganz alt, die hier. Und die macht sie fertig. Locker. Also natürlich, wenn ich mich konzentriere. Die Steine stören immer noch. Also die... Komm jetzt. Da bin ich auf den Endgegner äh, gespannt. Also bis jetzt, die Gegner kennen wir eigentlich. Ich habe mir gedacht, da kommen jetzt neue Gegner, aber bis jetzt kenne ich die schon vom alten Ga Kämpfen her. Oh, los, los. So, noch eine Re Reihe von Gegnern. Weitere Welle. Boah, Leute, ich bin gespannt. Also, es gibt zwei Projekte, die mir gerade total Spaß machen. Einer davon... Ja, hat nie, nie aufgehört, mir Spaß zu machen. Das ist diese hier. Besonders, ich bin gespannt auf die neue Gegner. Und so. Im zweiten Spiel kommt noch eine Folge heute. Habt ihr mich jetzt umkreist, oder was? Glaubst du, ich sehe euch nicht, oder was? Noch eine Welle. Hm. Okay, wie viel seid ihr noch? Oh Mann. Der ist gefährlich. Verdammt gefährlich. Los weg hier. Dem kenne ich noch. Der ist gefährlich. Seine diese Discos. Energiediscos. Aber die gefährlichsten sind die Größeren, die verfolgen einen. Gab's zwei davon? Okay. Der brennt schon. So gut wie erledigt. Ich habe gedacht, das ist die letzte Welle. Aber da ist wohl der Boss. Nein, war zu viele. Oh nein. 
diese Elektri elektro gefällt mir nicht so. Ach, kommt schon. Das schaffen wir schon. Sind das jetzt zwei? Oder ist der der eine da? Ich glaube, da sind zwei. Da sind zwei. Ja, dann müssen wir noch ein bisschen anstrengen. Eine ist weg. Zweite ist weg. Fertig aus. Wobei, finito. Goldrang. Super. Level Aufstieg. So, drei von vier. Ähm. Event. So, ich mache noch kurz was, Leute. Nachdem wir hier waren, gehe ich einmal zurück. Da war letztens, habe ich einen vergessen. Aber das hier ist, ähm ja, wir gucken mal, wie lange das dauert. Wenn das so ein richtiger Bossfight ist, also wie wir gegen die die da oben da mit der Pistole gegönnt haben, dann müssen wir dann ähm, doch nur einmal machen, aber mir macht Sorgen, dass wir 5 von 6 damals gefunden haben. Ja. Und ja. Ah. Der Captain. Ich glaube, das ist Tycoon. Good morning, love. I think you mean good afternoon, Captain. It's 1600. Yeah, well, it feels like 0600 in my skull. Anyways, I happened to find a little something peculiar on my bed just now, and I was wondering if you had a go last night. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. But if you're interested in a late brunch, I'd be happy to stop by. Unfortunately, as you can see, I'm in the middle of an investigation. Can I take a pussy rain check? Mm, your endless crass wordplay continues to amuse me to no end. <laughs> of course, and good luck finding your girl. No, Captain, we didn't shag last night. Ella's here and she said it wasn't her either. For sure. That was more like last last night. How the hell do you two know what was going on? Your comm terminal privileges are set to public. Hangover, the crew's all spying on me. Phantom cum menace. This is turning out to be a flippin' strange one. By the hmm. way, Fortune called earlier, but Demi told her you were, like, totally destroyed. I. She sounded very understanding about it. Shit! I better double time it to the bridge. So, the brat called. Yes, Captain. I'm patching through now. Oh, look. If it isn't Mr. I can't take drugs without becoming useless for 48 hours straight. How very kind of you to join us. Fortune, it's been 36 at the most. I can confirm that it was actually 32, sir. Aha! I see. You must really be making an effort in light of this whole fate of the galaxy resting upon your shoulders thing. Nah, I only had three tinnies left instead of my usual sixer. Anyways, if you've gotten your customary piss taking out of the way, we might have a problem. What I can safely assume you're going to ask me to deal with, right? I found some <clears throat> evidence that there might be a stowaway on the ship. You just happen to be in luck, Captain. That's exactly what I'm calling about. Enough playing around. Who jizzed in my sheets last night? Why don't you just turn around and see for yourself? Am I missing something? Just me. 
Daron. Jawohl, Tyron ist hier. Leute, wir haben Tyron. Tyron. Cool. I really like your ship, by the way. Unfortunately, she's got a lot of big, gaping holes. Oh, uh, in her security. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not hard to get inside her. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <clears throat> Lucky for you, I've been probing all her loose entrances so Fortune can give them a good filling when I'm done and I still sound ridiculous. Oh, this is not going well. Ah, so I have an adorable, socially awkward Nykith infiltration specialist to thank for the surprise gruel party. I'm both turned on and creeped out, and that is strangely working. Oh, really? By the way, when were you planning to give me your name? <laughs> oh, it's Taryn. Cross. Taryn is my name. Taryn has been working for me for quite some time. She's done security for all of my safe houses. Taryn Krask? Are you part of the team that pulled off the great fuck toy robbery last year? <laughs> team? Uh, no, that was just me. You broke into a maximum security Imperium stronghold and walked out with over a thousand priceless antique click ticklers all by yourself. Nah, it was nothing. Those facilities are why she's here. Eric recently provided us intel on a top-secret facility that, hilariously enough, is located inside the sacred Sinu Temple of Defilement. The Imperium currently has a working prototype of one of these weapons of ass destruction, and that's our target. Where is the Senator, by the way? He's usually here for these mission briefings. We waited for two hours while you were face down drunk before Eric got called away on official business. It must have been some kind of emergency. But it was weird how happy he seemed about it. What Eric quite strongly emphasized before he departed, however, was that us retrieving this thing meant life or death for the revolution. That's all I needed to hear to make sure we do this right. So, what is it exactly we're after? My vibrator. Uh, well, not <laughs> my vibrator, but a vibrator that used to be in my possession for reasons. The Mark 17 Pussy Pummeler is the most powerful sex toy ever created. If the Imperium has managed to weaponize its energy, we're all in big trouble. I, uh, mm, I didn't quite catch that. You mind repeating the name for me? The Mark 17 Pussy Pummeler. <laughs> Continue. The facility where it's being kept <laughs> looks like just another ancient Xenu ruin on the outside. But it's full of traps and Imperium guards. Before a ground-based entry is possible, we'll have to shut the system down after flying in through a series of tight corridors and tunnels, which makes for a little bit of a problem. Problem? The Phoenix can handle those conditions, especially with me behind the stick. I wasn't talking about those conditions. I was talking about my condition. You see, Nykith kind of have a reaction to solar males, as evidenced by our recent incident. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm well acquainted with the biology of your species, if you know what I mean. Sadly, we all do. Right, but I specifically have an unfortunate and severe allergic reaction to such pheromones. Like an uncontrollable urgency. I fail to see how the word unfortunate fits into that situation. Mm, think of it like Tourette's, but fapping. Uh, it might seem funny at first, but in the wrong place at the wrong time, like you and me locked in a two-seater fighter while trying to sneak past a deadly security system. Yep, it's starting to come together for me now. Captain, I just want you to know that this mission is incredibly important to me on so many levels, and I'm going to do my best to make sure my condition does not interfere with its success. See? Take note, Captain. No excuses. Just owning up. This is how a professional should conduct themselves. Professional? Might I remind you that this girl was fapping over my unconscious body less than three hours ago? 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, I walked into that one. Regardless, time to suit up. The Temple of Defilement is directly below us. So, ich freue mich. Taikon ist bei uns und ähm, ich hoffe, äh... Celestina, what a pleasant surprise. What can I do for you? Any more of those Sinu prophecies keeping you awake at night? Indeed, they are. Most recently, I had two short visions. Both disturbing. Of black winds descending upon the palace. Of the death of a great warrior. And the anarchy it inspired. Hmm. That is not why I'm calling, my love. I found what you were talking about in the ossuary. Please, tell me. Why did Casadora confiscate the entire history of a species? Ah. When the solar ships were first discovered, we herded them onto the garbage planet that eventually became New Vegas. Every inch of their ships was scoured. Inside, we found a portable sort of backup for this rudimentary, primitive data network. They referred to it as the Internet. Although it was only a localized version of the network as a whole, we learned some crazy shit about Earth. The craziest being they actually had several of their own religions that were remarkably similar to the Veil. The Solars had their own form of worship? That's... that's good, isn't it? Doesn't that demonstrate that they can potentially accept ours? Yeah, that's what Casadora thought too. Unfortunately, she ignored a few things. Like the part about those beliefs also resulting in an endless cycle of hatred, war, and bloodshed throughout all recorded history. Sound familiar? On top of that, every single solar in Prodigium is the descendant of a hardened criminal from their galaxy. I love them, but those lunatic mammals aren't exactly quick to embrace someone revoking their freedom. I am still convinced that it was Casador's methods that led to the hatred and fear of our religion, not the Veil itself. The Veil is not meant to restrict autonomy. It is meant to guide the faithful towards making the right choices so that they can be safe beneath it. Trust me, I'm well aware of what you think it's supposed to do. Tell me about the Solars. They remain an enigma to me. How could they be capable of such beauty and such depravity at the very same time? <sighs> I've actually thought about that a lot. And it probably has something to do with their lifespan. It's so short compared to almost any other species in Prodigium. But when they're determined to do something, good fucking luck stopping them. I see. Perhaps that sense of mortality makes them fear a wasted life more than anything else. Which is why they are so determined to act on their impulses, no matter how dangerous they may be. I imagine that is why New Vegas was so popular. That kind of self-destruction became alluring, even for our most devout. You have to understand, some people just aren't meant to walk the path of purity. Because they're strongest when they misbehave. Did you know such a person? Oh, I'm proud to say I did. At one time, he was the biggest fuck-up waste of potential you could possibly imagine. But New Vegas transformed him into something resembling a decent man. Well, despite his job requirements. <laughs> my whole life, I've been told about how I will reach my full potential through obedience. But I feel my powers consistently growing stronger when I... misbehave. And now, I feel a fire inside that I cannot deny. I saw some footage in the Solar's data. Perhaps it was some kind of ancient educational video. I experienced ravenous inclinations on display during an almost vicious mating ritual. And the Empress herself is confessing to me that she got turned on watching a porno. Wow. Is this happening right now? I feel so guilty for letting it corrupt me. I feel guilty for wanting to explore it more. Yet I also feel guilty for denying myself something I clearly crave. How can I possibly make this go away? Uh, oof, um, mm, I have an idea. 
Maybe you could describe the thoughts you're having to me in as much graphic detail as possible. What? No, I could never confess such things. Especially not to you. Why? Because they're about me? Yes. I mean, no. I, I mean... Oh, my. I, I need a very cold shower, followed by a very, very long meditation session. Oh, come on. Things were just getting good. Good night, now. Whew. This girl's gonna be the end of me. So, I hope I send that the quatsch and yeah. So, Leute, folgendes. Also, kurz, wir können jetzt erstens unser Schiff auf Level 2 skalieren. Das werde ich mal schnell machen. Und dann, ähm, werden wir Schluss machen für heute. Also, wir haben Tycoon. Yeah, wir können das endlich, juhu. Also wir machen das mal auf so, so weit. Ah ja, okay. Gut Leute, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, euch hat es gefallen. Wenn ihr wisst, was zu tun ist, bis zum nächsten Mal. Euer Lonewolf, haut rein.